Hello, good morning, and welcome to another vlog with Grac. I'm just gonna hula hoop. I don't know if you can see me. For all you know, that I could be fake hula hooping. Hula hooping queen. I love it. I love to hula hoop. Um, but hi, welcome to another extra Grac vlog. How are you doing? Are we well? Are we having a good day? I hope you're having a good day. I'm having a good day. It's Sunday today. I'm baking some matcha braided bread for the main channel, which is very exciting. So we'll see how that goes. Sit back, relax. You know sometimes you wake up and your face is really puffy. I don't know why it's so puffy today. Um, but we'll sort out. I think I'm gonna go make myself a matcha. I just had breakfast, but I'm kind of, I'm really trying to experiment with matcha at the moment. I tried this drink over on my TikTok, this matcha chai, green matcha chai, iced drink and it was so so good um so i kind of want to get like some chai syrup or chai drink of some sort but so oh my gosh it's a mess in here because i have been <laughs> busy at work um do we do a iced one today or do we do a frothy one do you hear what i hear or am i even in the mood for it i don't know i do think today right i got sent this by love Roll. not sponsored gifted though um this is love Roll. And they do these bars, which I love. These are vegan. Actually, I should probably explain this well because I keep getting questions about the dairy-free scenario. It's really not that deep, but I'll explain it later on. Um, and it's, they've come with two little baking kits and they've given me all the ingredients in here to make it. How fun is that? Well, so this is the best vegan butter you can possibly have. Um, we got some ship to mill flour, guys. We're on the big, big wigs. Um, pea milk, which I have never tried. Oh, oat milk. I, oh, it's from Mighty P. Okay, um, that's fun. And this peanut butter, which looks insane. Can you see? Yamelo. I've never had this peanut butter before. I'd love trying a new peanut butter. I'm so excited to bake with all this. We've got, what have we got in here? Coconut sugar. <gasps> wow. And we've got some aquafiba, egg substitute. I'm well excited to have a explore with that. Oh! Um, so I think that's gonna be our Sunday. I might have a match later. I'm not in the mood. Well, there's like a lot of mess around because I need to clean up. So I'm gonna clean up first. And my little baby is proving under here. Wait, look at Banks. She looks so cute. Do you know what's really funny? She's take this used to be Jessie's bed. Oh my gosh, miss him. And now it's Banksy's bed. She just loves it here, don't you? This is your favourite little spot. Is it because you miss Banksy? I mean Jessie. Um, I need to tidy up my room, which if you were wondering, yes. I have actually been doing my New Year's resolution and I'm really proud of myself. Uh, my New Year's resolution was to tidy my room every morning before I leave it. So like when I leave my room, I have to make sure it's tidy. And I've been doing it for the most part, mainly clothes, just making sure clothes aren't on the floor. Also, in case you're wondering, have been reading this and I am, I'm this far in. So like halfway. Um, but the problem is everyone's like, read before you go to bed instead of going on your mobile phone. Why do I say mobile phone? I feel like people haven't said that in years. But reading makes my brain more awake and more alert and then I overthink things and then I'm just like more stimulated than if I just went on TikTok for a bit. I should probably actually tell you about my dairy scenario. It's really not that deep, um, but I just thought I'd tell you about it because I've had a lot of questions and I know as a, as a very avid YouTube watcher, when someone I watch um, and I've been following their journey and whatever, I'm like, I want to know what's happened there. So I thought, here we go, I'm gonna tell you. Before this section starts, I do just wanna stress, I am not a doctor. If you are dairy intolerant, lactose intolerant, if you have an allergy, whatever it is, always consult a professional. This is my personal experience. I did not have a deathly allergy. Basically just got the squirts, lactose intolerant gang, yeah. Um, so just take this with a pinch of salt, obviously. This is my personal experience, everyone is different. Everybody, as I always say, everybody is different and everybody has different needs. So please bear that in mind when listening. Um, so basically, I'll tell you, let's do a storyline, okay? So. I originally got diagnosed being dairy intolerant when I had loads of stomach problems at the end of sick form around when I was 18. Before that, I had never had any issues with anything. Literally anything was not a problem, anything. It just came out of the blue. I would, my, my tummy would literally be like a bowling ball. It was so, so sore. Um, and I, I was pooing about like four times more than your average human. It was a lot, um, really uncomfortable, really hurt. So I went to the doctors, 
couldn't work out what was wrong, did some blood tests, did like celiac tests, um, they thought I was celiac, they thought blah, 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 blah. Anyway, went through some different tests, eventually found out dairy intolerant. Um, so for, since then, so I'd say for about four years, I literally, I haven't had dairy. I went through a phase where I like tried it again, um, but I realized that it really, even if something's like fried, mushrooms were fried in butter, it would really upset my tummy. Anyway, I never really knew why I suddenly developed this dairy intolerance. And I know that sometimes you can randomly, when you're like older, you can develop an allergy just like you can undevelop it, if you will. So like you can get, suddenly be diagnosed with dairy or you can suddenly, I know one of my friends, got like deathly allergic to nuts at the age of 29 just like randomly out of the blue it's so weird it can be anything it can be stress it can be whatever but then i was speaking to a friend and this was about march last year and they said that they went on some antibiotics and that's what made them dairy intolerant and i was like oh my gosh because i had literally had a flashback to sick form when i was about 17 18 i had to go on a series of antibiotics for about six to eight months i was on antibiotics and you know even if you're on antibiotics for about a week it trashes your stomach um and basically this antibiotics had ruined my stomach it couldn't digest dairy at all it was like my stomach didn't know what it was doing sorry i just had to check on my bread um so basically i think i had no probiotics left in my gut is that the word you know like the healthy bacteria and it basically had stripped it all i was like well surely you can undo this like surely there's a way of being able to start eating dairy again and she said she managed to like train her gut if you will to be able to process dairy so what she did she had loads of like sourdough good probiotic stuff so like sourdough um fermented goods like kimchi um yogurts all the sorts of things like that and then i was also speaking to another friend that told me about when a baby or like a child has a dairy intolerance there's this thing that tries to help them to build up their like tolerance to dairy and it's called the milk train i think it is so you start off with something small and then you like slowly work up towards a bigger dairy product so it was like start off with a biscuit see how you are with a biscuit try and have more biscuit and see how you are um which is like a general like nhs way of how they deal with it i think um so it's what i did i tried to like see what i can deal with and what i can't deal with and i went like i'm fully not fully at the point where i can hack dairy fully like i'm not at that stage yet um but for the most part, certain things, I haven't worked out what it is yet that my body doesn't like, and I just can't drink milk. Like, normal milk still grosses me out, um, so I still stick to, like, almond milk. But other things, such as, like, um, butter, I'm fine with. I know a lot of people have been really worried if I'm still going to make, like, dairy, um, dairy-free recipes, vegan, stuff like that. And I'm so flexible. I literally, like... I love still trying out vegan meals. I, when I go to a restaurant, I normally order vegan food because it's what appeals to me. Um, and I just feel like I'm quite flexible. I'm very open. I still like cooking. I still cook with like dairy-free butter, dairy-free milk. It's kind of just what's, whatever's in the house, really. I know that I have been able to slowly incorporate more dairy back into my diet, and, but it doesn't mean that I'm not gonna do dairy-free vegan, like the box now says, because I like loads of dairy-free things, and a lot of dairy-free things are accidentally dairy-free that I have in my life. Um, it's just nice to know that if I'm going to a friend's house and they've made a meal, that I can eat it without feeling awkward and being like, sorry, I can't have that. Or it's just really nice to have that reassurance or going to a restaurant and not having to be like, can I have the dairy free menu please? And just so you know, I can't eat this. I hated that like awkwardness. So that is really nice to have that reassurance that I'm not gonna be like squitting on the toilet. Every now and then I'll have something that upsets me and I can't put my finger on it. But for the most part, we're working towards, it. I'll still drink like soy milk, all my faves. I hope that explains it a little bit and explains why I've been able to have dairy a little bit more lately. I don't know if that explains it. It might be weird to some people. It probably was. If it was me listening to this, I'd be like, that's weird. Um, but hopefully that explains it. So I am just about to do some editing. It's a Sunday, but I have a lot to do. Also, my mum got this in my dad's for Christmas grape play-doh and whenever i'm on a zoom i play with it and it smells absolutely incredible um also i'm shattered today because i did a fat long walk with honor yesterday which actually well i met the nicest viewer she was so flipping lovely and i won't lie was feeling a bit like i felt a bit uninspired i felt like i was having all this like doubts about youtube and where i was going and blah, blah, blah. i think it's natural for anyone during lockdown to kind of feel like where am i going what am i doing i don't know what i'm doing um 
and she was just so nice she really put a pep in my step i just messaged her on instagram because she was honestly the loveliest girl ever and just to let you know if you have any content creators or anyone or even like any creatives any artwork if you like what they do send them a message because honestly that one girl telling me that she really enjoyed my content has given me some motivation and drive to keep on going um so i really want to thank thank you so much because honestly it puts such pep in my step and the support does not go unnoticed any of you who send me lovely messages um or comments it really genuinely makes my day and really just makes makes everything worthwhile um so i just want to say a big thank you for all of you who do show me so much love and support me i love you guys so so much more than you will ever know honestly i'm so grateful for every single one of you anyway i'm gonna get on editing because i want to make a video because i feel more pumped and ready to edit also another thing i just love you guys about whenever i ask for help you always pull through i was like my laptop keeps bugging out and you're like you need to empty your caches and if I didn't have you guys, you wouldn't have told me that and saved me because look, now I've emptied my caches. I just Googled, by the way, how to empty your cache. I'm probably saying that very wrong. My system preferences before was literally like this. Now, whoop, right small, which is fantastic. So I am just gonna carry on editing. Okay, the sun looks magical, but it doesn't look like a sunset. It's just like, still looks nice though. Kinda looks like autumn like a book do you know what i mean also i sorry i've just been working on a video um i've literally it's been half afternoon i've just been sat here editing and i got it done yay ready for tomorrow oh big tired yawny yawn oh she's been here the whole day also we've been working together haven't we banks except you've not been working you've been sleeping um and i'm gonna go make dinner Okay, for dinner tonight, we are having something we've not had before. Basically, for a recipe the other day, I accidentally bought pork belly slices. Oh, for the Filipino day. Um, and yeah, I accidentally bought pork belly slices. So I have put them in the freezer and now I'm gonna bake with them. Um, and we're gonna make a pork ramen. Okay, we have everything in motion. The pork's in the oven. We've got some chicken stock that mum made the other night. Some eggs on the go. We have this in the bowl, which is a lot happening. I'm yet to put the noodles on. It's all systems go here. Here is the pork belly ramen. Interesting. Okay, so we had our lovely little ramen moment. It was quite good. Um, and now I'm gonna bake, because we don't actually have any pudding. I think I'm gonna make these from that little kit that I got sent. Um, these peanut butter brownie peanut butter brownies um which are really good and right now i did already have one of these so i might have to sub in a bit more chocolate only thing is it is in cups and we all know how i feel about cup measurement i'm not a big cup measurement fan but we will try hopefully it'll work she's beautiful she's about to go in the oven tidied up and now i'm really bored mum and dad are watching house of games which don't get me wrong i do enjoy i do but uh i'd rather watch superstore or friends or a rom-com do you know what I mean? I might, sat right, I've reserved Sundays for baths. It's my one day of the week where I let myself have a bath because I feel that it makes me enjoy it more. When I was whipping out baths willy nilly, soaking, mellowing out. Um, whereas if I have it on a Sunday, I do like a full body exfoliate, shave, and I do a full body moisturize as well. Um, yeah, I do that's right so i think that needs to happen tonight um maybe with my brownie potentially i really think i need to repurchase a switch i no longer have my switch my nintendo switch and i think i think i need to get one again because i really was and also there's this weird thing going around on tiktok at the moment where people are like reminiscing about lockdown 1.0 and it's really bad because it's actually got me reminiscing about lockdown 1.0 playing animal crossing playing mario kart I just can feel it in my bones you know so um but that would be the oh no that actually would be a great thing maybe there's a game to play on my laptop i might go upstairs and see i might see if there's a game <gasps> do you know what i'm really need to play oh my gosh candace cowbonga i used to play it on disney all the time and they're right I'm, I'm taking you upstairs oh my gosh okay so oh wow i've just had a this is a great activity i hope they actually can do them so let me take you through. I used to play, maybe I should do a whole flipping video where I play games I used to play as I did. Um, I used to play, obviously Club Penguin, obviously I've never played Club Penguin. Candice Cowbanger, I think, oh, Charlie and Lola. 
I would still play in that in year seven. You know, you could draw the butterflies, just very therapeutic. But I know that's not on the Charlie and Loder website anymore, which is quite upsetting. I, fun fact about me, I, Innocent Smoothie had this kids website and there was a game on it and I got into the top 10 leaderboard. I think at one point I was number three in the UK. Um, I can't even remember the game, really. Um, and same <laughs> year seven, mathletics. I'm not even good at maths. Somehow, I got awarded an assembly for my mathletics achievement. Let's see if Disney Channel... Oh, the Barbie one as well? Oh my gosh, the Barbie one was good. I didn't think I was a gamer, but all of these games are flooding back. I, me and my brother used to play Gold Miner. It's this game, and what you have to do... I'm going to get the sound effects on. Basically, you have to collect... Oh my gosh! And it would, like, go around... Uh, and you have to get the gold and then get to a certain target. Oh my gosh, this. Oh, is it going to be bad or good? Because sometimes it can be bad. <laughs> Strength. So even if you pick up a rock. Oh, wow, queen. Okay. <gasps> okay. Do you see how quick he's getting it? <gasps> oh, wiped the floor. Shapuya. Wow, I really and truly just killed 15 minutes of the baking time. Yeah, honestly, find an old game that you used to love as a kid. Kills the time like I don't know what. I might have burnt them. Yeah, baby. Yes, it is a little bit goo goo in the middle and it's got the melted chocolate on top. And it's got the melted chocolate on top. Mmm. Oh, I could do with some ice cream on this. This time. Do you hear that? The water is running. In case you're wondering. My exfoliator that I use, awfully light. I feel like my mum's been using this. I'm using this one at the moment. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to get another exfoliator because there's nothing like exfoliating, that's for sure. I absolutely love it. I am shaved, exfoliated, and I'm feeling good. Oh no, honestly, I love getting into bed and feeling like <laughs> feeling like a dolphin. Do you know what I mean? Good morning. It is the next day. I'm just about to lay my bed. Speaking of beds, actually, as I said earlier, your recommendations are always 10 out of 10. Um, and I am looking for, right, I was searching for this last year and I couldn't find it, but I really want a better duvet. Mine is hot, very hot. And since I've moved rooms, I get so hot and sweaty in the night, delicious. Um, and I want, right, I want one that's really pudgy, but it's not hot. Any good, also, I really like the comforter style where it's like padded like this. Whoop, 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 but I can't, I've never been able to find it. I don't know if it's because in England they don't really do comforters as they do in America. Like I've seen duvets in America and they look so different from English ones. But anyway, yeah, and I'm looking for like a new bedding scenario um, because I've had this since I was 16. This little duvet right here. Just making lunch, having a little break because I've been working on Warren. Um, and it's happened again. TikTok really just the for you page is really for you. And I found this look a little cat window hammock, and I need it really. Look, and they just sit at it. But it's another thing that I'm gonna buy because of flipping TikTok. Now they're trying to taunt me with the beach. Oh, and it's Mum and Mia playing. Wow. I just had my lunch. It was delicious. I had a little bacon sandwich. Um, and I think I'm gonna make myself a matcha. Also, I've been doing a TikTok and I think I've put my neck out. I don't know if I have, I have it iced. I'm gonna go iced, I think. I also need to down some water. If you're watching this and you need some water, you can get to drink water, it's really bad. And you know your pee's not, not looking so funky fresh. I'm also going to use this milk, which I have never tried before, Mighty Pea. I'm also not the biggest oat milk lover, but I'm going to give it a go and see if I like it. Look at that, it's got 8 grams of protein in. Right, let's chuck him in here and blitz it up. So found this from when I was younger, this little ice cube tray, which is very on trend right now. Little seven-year-old Grace from Ikea and knew what was happening. Yeah, I feel like Starbucks for Valentine's Day or something should have done heart ice cubes because they look so much cuter, don't they? Oh, it's sticking to my finger because my finger's warm. Okay, and we go with the matcha. And then I'm going to get the vanilla in as well. I really think I need to invest in one of those matcha kits because I still get the flipping lumps. Even when I whisk the camera died, let's see what it's saying. I still don't know if I like it or not though. I'm not gonna lie. I think I want it hot. I'm gonna heat it up. 
I'm gonna take the ice out. I know it's weird, but I'm not wasting anything because the ice is just water at the end of the day. <laughs> this is so wrong. I've done it so badly. That's so much better. That's smooth. Take 10. Not bad. There we go. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Very chill. That's what you come for here on this safe space on the internet. Um, I hope you enjoyed and clears up your dairy questions. Um, really, I didn't think it was that deep, but everyone wants to know. So there you go. That's the long and short of it. Uh, love you all loads.